Hi, today I will, I'll be reviewing a Gamera series monster review. Since last time I was going to review the toy I'm going to review today, but since, you know, my chaos bug came that day, I wanted to review it. So finally, here he is, the monster I'm going to review from the Gamera series, the Memorial Box Space Gyos. So, yeah, this toy is a beautiful toy. Very well detailed. And, yeah, it's a very awesome toy. So, um, into history on this toy. Or this monster. Um, well, I'm just gonna review the Space Gaios history, not all the Gaios history since it's long. So, um... Space Giles actually appeared in the movie Gamera vs. Giron. I forgot what year was the movie released on. But what happened is that a space a space Giles came to a planet called Terra, which is a undiscovered planet in our that we didn't found yet, us humans. And you know, he was, you know, wandering around that place, but then that's when the guardian of that um, planet called Giron Killed him when um, Giles actually shot his um, beam and then Guiron deflected it and it hit his leg. It sliced it off and then that's when, you know, he sliced, sliced Space Giles' back. And also, um, at the end of the movie, a giant swarm of Giles, of Space Giles came. And, you know, they invaded um, Planet Terra since actually Guiron was killed by Gamera. So, yeah. So that's all for history for the um, Space Giles. So now into detail on this memorial box figure. It's pretty good. You see the mouth, that red right there. Yeah. Um, it looks like it doesn't even have a tongue. So you know, I wish they did. Well, actually, I don't think Giles even has a tongue. So the teeth aren't good. They're indi individually. Sculpted and they're painted. They're not just a giant big blob just like that And also, you know his little um, what can I say like? Mohawk I guess Looks pretty cool the skin texture and my third part is the eye You know that eye that's like looking up and all that stuff So yeah, that eye looks pretty good those eyes looks good And then the wings are all brownish color and then you can like see the veins right here and then you see these little arms right here. I guess they're useless. But I guess they work for flying. And then you see that tail. It kind of looks like a tadpole or something. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. But And then the feet. They're pretty nice looking. The silver paint on the stomach. And then in the bottom, there's like some Japanese lettering. And also, it also says about the year and where it was made and all that stuff. Below the below the um the foot so yeah that's all for the detail and now for articulation so um this toy doesn't have that much articulation so um the legs well i guess you can well actually yeah it rotates they rotate 360 even though they kind of get in the way of the um of the wings but you know you can still move them on like the um, the hyper guys because on the hyper guys whenever you rotate them it already hits the wing already. So and that's all that's all for articulation. So I wish it was another articulation like maybe like I don't know like the head or something. Like you know for you can turn around and he can shoot his beam all over the place or something. But I guess that's alright and I think it's actually a glucio actually. But I don't like breaking my glucios on my toys. Because, you know, I will figure my break and stuff like that. So, I don't like breaking glucios. Anyways. So, yeah. Um, now into superpowers. So, superpowers on the, on the space guys is that he can shoot a beam out of his mouth. And then can actually cut his opponents. Or slice his opponents. And another power. This is not exactly a, like a superpower, but I guess it's just a power. You know, he can fly. And, you know, he can fly to space. So, you know, that's kind of weird since 
most creatures like today they don't, they can't fly in space they'll be like all like burnt up so yeah that's one of his powers I guess sizing so now on to sizing first we're gonna compare him with my other Gaios from the Hasey movie um this is Hyper Gaios so yeah I think they're the um they're the same size I mean like in theatrically so anyway, right here it looks like um Gaios is bigger than Hyper Gaios even though Hyper Gaios should be maybe the same size or something but you know that's all right since you know um Hyper Gaios I think is a it's more younger than um than the Space Gaios so yeah okay now we're gonna compare it with another alien monster that is from another planet Cotton Pope yeah this toy is pretty rare so um yeah this is a good sizing since Cotton Pope is um I think 71 meters and um Space Giles is around uh I think it's 85 meters so yeah 85 to 80 to 88 yeah around there so yeah this is good sizing and actually they actually make good you know being like a uh teaming up with you know some like with godzilla or something like that so you know they look pretty good together and finally since most people have this toy the heisei godzilla from 1990 yeah i don't know i forgot i forget so this is um i guess good sizing i guess I think I think Space Guy should be like smaller, cause you know he's 85 to 88. I'm not sure. And Godzilla is um 100 meters. So yeah, Space Guy should be like smaller, like to his neck. But that's all right, since yeah, that's all all right. So you know they have to make the Godzilla like part of the six inch line. They can't make like an eight inch line. You know that'll be kind of. You know, it won't be valid. So, yeah, that's all for sizing. So, now into rarity. This toy is actually pretty rare. As I said, as I said on um, my Barugan review, I actually got him with the pack with the other six monsters, I believe, from the Showa series. So yeah, and he's actually pretty hard to come by. If you ever see him like for a good price, like for around um let's say like thirty bucks to forty, then get him. Because he's a very spectacular toy and you know, he'll be an, a good addition to your um collection. So yeah, that's all for this review. I give this toy a um let's see, a nine out of ten. I mean, I will give him a 10 out of 10, but since, you know, he doesn't have that much articulation, I just had to lower it one point. So, yeah, if it was for the head, then I'll give it a 10 out of 10, but unfortunately, it doesn't have that. But, you know, it's all alright since it's a memorial box figure. So, yeah, that's all for this review. So, remember to subscribe, comment, and like. Um, and thank you. To those subscribers who actually subscribed to me, thank you very much. And I hope that you inspire other people for to subscribe on my channel. And as you know, if I get 100 subscribers or more, like 101 or something, then you know I'll do a request. And yeah, you can do any figure. Well, that's from the Gamera and, you know, the Kaiju line. So yeah, this is all for this review. This is Methylpoda, signing out.